there is one question from uh, Azura. Uh, oh, yes, Prof. Our Dean of Inhat, Prof. Oh, the Dean. Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much, Dr. Azura. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, as all of us know that in heart she's taking an amana to educate the ummah on halal lifestyle. Alhamdulillah. Mm. Most of the halal industry players are not Muslim. So what mm. is your advice <laughs> to the in heart on how to do it effectively? Yes, bro, this is the reality. <laughs> yeah. I, I, Alhamdulillah, I think you have a great chance to do the da'wah to them, inshallah. Yeah, definitely in this world and now we cannot reject them to not be involved in the halal industry. Yeah, but what we need to understand is that to, uh, to, to what we need to do is to make them understand what is halal in the actual sense from Islamic perspective. And for that, we have to be very close to them, very close to them. And uh, believe me, I think some of the non-Muslims are not agreeing to Islam because they do not know about Islam. So let me tell a story yeah, from my personal experience. Uh, uh, when I retired, I had the chance to do a little bit of exercise. And mm -hmm. I found a group of people who are doing what they call white tanko exercise. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit like Tai Chi. Like Tai Chi, like, yes. Like Tai Chi, but it's not Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I, I found out that actually white tanko was uh, pioneered and also established by a Muslim Taiwanese. Mm. Uh, but the Chinese in Malaysia went to Taiwan to learn from him and brought back to Malaysia and uh, disseminate that exercise among the Chinese. Mm. So when I joined them, the majority are the Chinese. <laughs> uh, and they have three prohibitions when you want to join the exercise. Mm. For one, you cannot talk about politics. Oh, this is but, the requirement for membership, Prof. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And number two, you cannot talk about uh, race. Okay, no politics, no race. No race, and the other one, no religion. Oh. So, uh, how are you going to do the da'wah to them to make the mm. understanding about Islam? Mm -hmm. It's very isn't it? Yes, yes. The, the only thing that we can do is to, to show our akhlaq. Lah, to show our akhlaq. Mm. And from my observation, I came to know that some of them, this uh, in a Chinese can. Yeah? Mm cannot understand Malay at all, cannot talk Malay. Because mm. they live among themselves, very close, and whatever news that come about Islam to them, you should mm. always negative. Mm. But then when they are, they are mixing with us, you can see the different kind of club, which is very different from the, 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 the mass media, or the people who are reported. Islam, mm. and they, I can feel that uh, they like us. They like us. Alhamdulillah and uh, see, for instance, everybody, every morning uh, when we meet each other, they greet us. Uh, we can see that there are happiness in their face and whenever we want to depart. So they are trying to say goodbye. I learned a few Mandarin to say good morning <laughs> and goodbye and all that. Uh, they were very happy. And then now we are very close. Very, very close. And I'm, I'm not talking about Islam. I'm not talking about Islam. So, mm -hmm. so is I think in the in the in the, in the halal uh, industry. I think mm -hmm. uh, don't reject them. Don't reject the non-Muslim who are interested or who work for uh, who work in halal industry. Yeah, um, get to know them, get close to them, engage them, and then uh, try. Uh, because you don't have the provisions to uh, not to talk about politics, religions, and also race. We always discuss with them intellectually. I'm sure that those people, those non-Muslims who are in the industry are intelligent and also probably they are, they, are, they, are, they are educated and learned. So we can always uh, talk to them and discuss with, uh, uh, with akhlaq, like, with akhlaq mm -hmm. and then try to avoid any contradictory behavior or any, any controversies. And then inshallah, slowly make them understand, inshallah. Make them understand. And I think that uh, we have uh, a part to play for that, uh, to contribute to Islam, inshallah, to make them at least understand about Islam, and at least in this case, to understand about what is the real meanings of halal, the real meaning of halal, inshallah. So uh, actually, you have a lot of chance uh, to do that, inshallah. Yeah? Uh, let me tell you another story. The one where the tunnel and the orang tua, I usually like that again. <laughs> <laughs> like talk, it's yeah. it's okay, Prof. We still have time, and this is the valuable lessons that we could learn, Prof. So uh -huh. please go on, tell us more. Yeah, uh, when I was young, a young lecturer, 
yeah, um, students, especially the Islamic oriented students, yeah, mm. which come to me and uh, ask advice and whatever. And one day they came to me uh, complaining because the university asked them to stay with non Muslim, with mm. non Muslim in a room, in a room. Okay. So they were saying this is very difficult for us to play and for the female, and it's very difficult to, uh, to, uh, for, for us to, to, to juggle our art and um, things. Yeah? So I was saying, no, no, no. Actually, Allah sent them to you. Mm-hmm. Tell them about Islam. You are sleeping with them in one room. You are talking to them. You are eating with them. And explain about Islam. And some say that, oh, brother, we are afraid of holy water. Oh. Me, uh, that kind of thing. So, no, you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah, Allah will protect you. So you see... Uh, the mind of youngsters, yeah? they, are, they, they, are, they are afraid of anything that they do not know. Mm. So even though Allah sent the Namaslim to stay with them, and they had to take the opportunity mm. to tell them about Islam. Yeah. Mm. Tell them about Islam. So, so it's in the halal industry. Uh, I think uh, Allah, Allah bless you all, Alhamdulillah, with a lot of non-Muslims to, to you. And you need, you, you need to take the chance and opportunity Mashallah. Talk to them to explain to them the real halal and the real Islam, inshallah. And this is, I think, uh, one of the da'wah endeavors that we need to do, inshallah. Yes, this is da'wah and as well as jihad, yeah, Prophet? Yeah, jihad, inshallah. Yeah, Dr. Azura, thank you very much. Mm-hmm.